Hi guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can see from the title I have a story time for you now I already recorded this story time for some reason it's not popping up so I'm going to tell it again this story time is about the time that I lost my virginity the first time I got some you know so basically here's what happened So I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to just call him Rob. So I met Rob one day because he was checking me out or whatever. And he made it my business to know that he was checking me out. I thought it was cool because he was cute as hell. So I was like, okay. Like, I got to know him. We ended up being, like, part of a group of friends. And at the time, I forgot to mention this. At the time, I am, like, 21, about to be 22. Um, and it's my junior year of college. Um, yeah. So, and it's my first time living on campus. So, this is around the time where I just started making friends on campus with my best friend. And he happened to be part of our group of friends. So, long story short, one of the other boys that's part of our group, who I consider to be an older brother, um, I told him about it. I was like, yo, I think one of your boys is cute this down the third. I didn't want to tell him who though. But he was like, like, yeah, one of my boys does like you back. Da, 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 who you talking about? So then I told him who I was talking Well, I described who I was talking about because I was scared to tell him. And he was describing the person back to me, but it wasn't the person I was talking about. So that was kind of embarrassing. And then I ended up telling him who I was talking about. And then he was like, yeah, he like you too. And I was like, okay, cool. That's all I wanted to know. And this nigga went ahead, probably done spilled the juice, obviously. Because then the next day, Rob seen me, he was like, come here. So I'm like, why is this, what, this boy don't ever speak. He just be like staring at me from across the room, like doing little things here and there. But he never speak to me. He bold today. So I was like, all right. I walk in, of course. I walk into the room. It's a boy's room. At the time, we were chilling in the boys' room, the guys the guys that are part of our group of friends. So we are chilling there. That's where all the girls would come in. We were just chilling there. It's a big-ass group. Some people would be playing um, video games. Others would just be talking amongst ourselves, playing music, just chilling. So he sits next to me for the first time. I'm like, okay, I like this. So he sits next to me for the first time. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he started playing with my hair. And I'm like, okay. Like, okay. So he started playing with my hair. Then he was like, do you want to come with me to go get some water? At the time, I wasn't thinking, like, how the fuck do you need me to come with you to get some water? The fuck? That was corny. But at the time, I was like... <laughs> yeah sure whatever let's go so i go and then once i get into his room no nothing happened once i get into his room um basically uh i figured out i was like that's when i started thinking i'm like yo why does this boy need me to come with him to get some water like i ain't thirsty then i just put two and two together so i just sat there and i was like okay cool so then I ended up chilling with him. We watching Netflix. We was watching Boondocks. I love to watch Boondocks. So then, getting to know each other, whatever. He told me his age. He lied about his age. Boy ended up being a whole like two years younger than me. Oh my goodness, I could have went to jail. I think. But yeah, so I ended up spending the night. No, nothing happened. He was just really sweet, caressing me or whatever, and then, like, I woke up the next day, went to my room. He didn't want me to leave to go to my room, but I went to my room anyway, because, boy, you're not my nigga. So, when I went to my room, um, 
I was like, okay, I'm feeling him. So I told my friend what happened. This, that, and the third. Spilling the tea. And then that's how we first started kicking it. So then we just, after that, we just kept chilling with each other and whatnot. And then fast forward to the day where I lost my virginity. So two times out of the week, it was Tuesdays and Thursdays, I wouldn't have any classes. So, um, oh, I forgot to mention, I am 24, by the way, so this happened almost two years ago. But yes, so two times out of the week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I wouldn't have classes, but he would have early classes in the morning. So I can't remember if it was a Tuesday or Thursday, but one of those days he went to his class and it got canceled. And I normally slept in his room at this point. So, and yes, I slept in his room and nothing was going on. So he came back and then I woke up and this time around, that time I didn't bring any like extra clothes for me to like, you know, like shower in or whatever. Um, and I didn't bring my tap so I couldn't get back into my building to go shower I would have to wait for my roommate to wake up which is also my best friend hey girl so um I was like laying there or whatever and he came over he laid next to me told me that he had class so we started watching TV or whatever and then I was like oh is it cool that I shower here like I don't really have like anything with me so he was like yeah the towels over there this is my shower gel. You can use my flip flops. Because, girl, I did not want to get into nobody's shower with my bare feet. I, I didn't even do it in my building. Like, mm -mm. So, I used his flip flops and um, I got his towel. I didn't undress myself. I was in, like, my panty boy shorts and my crop top. And I was in, um, yeah, that was it. And then I grabbed um, the shower gel. And as I'm leaving... I open the door and I'm trying to walk out. I'm trying to be quick with it because I don't want no boy seeing me and no towel in this hallway. He was like, I'll meet you in there. That was my legit reaction. I was just like, he didn't see my face because my back was turned because I was leaving the room. And I paused in the doorway when he said that. I just turned around and looked at him. Like, oh Jesus so then I walked out but he always I didn't think anything of it th for that cause like he always like would joke around like that like you know never pressured me cause at the time I did tell him I was a virgin so I walked into the shower I'm chilling in the shower washing myself scrubbing away shower gel smell bomb as shit you know I'm just in there like mm, you know and the door was unlocked. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I then left the door open. It wasn't wide open, but it wasn't locked. So then the door opens. So then I just started panicking a little bit on the inside. Because I knew it was him. Nobody else would have just walked in there if they heard the shower running. Because nobody saw me go in there. So I was like, calm down, Michelle. Because I've never been naked in front of a nigga before. The most is I'm in my little underwear or whatever. And that's it. I've never been like, I've never done anything. Anything with nobody's son. So, I'm over here like panicking. I don't know how I managed to calm down. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of used to him. So, I just calmed the fuck down because I needed to. So, I calmed down or whatever. And then, a few seconds after that, I hear the curtains like behind me start to slide and I'm facing like the shower head and he steps into the shower and he closes the curtain and I didn't turn around so my back is to him I did not turn around I was like okay Michelle calm the fuck down calm the fuck down so I had to calm down and again I calmed myself down and in order to do so I just like kind of brushed it off so I was like I handed him the soap as if I didn't just wash myself. I was like, wash me. <sighs> Michelle, 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 Michelle. So I was like, wash me. So then, he started washing me. And I was liking that shit. It's not like I needed to be washed because I washed myself. But, mm, yes. And I think he could tell I was liking it. So then he started, you know, like, 
washing me like a little better and then I kind of backed up a little bit and I backed up on it and poof, it was ready to go so I was like I kind of I didn't want to make him feel like you know like kind of like embarrassed or whatever because your shit is just ready to go so I just turned around and I kissed him and then we started feeling on each other and then he fingered me but I was already stimulated because I'm telling you this nigga fine okay I just look at him and it's just uh so we try to you know get the business in the shower it was ah. girl this kitty said no access bitch like it was just it wasn't happening and it wasn't even like I didn't want it to happen and I was fully stimulated it just was it wasn't it wasn't working out so then we stepped out the shower ideally it would have been a little less messier had it been in the shower but fast forward we step out the shower I had the towel and he told me like you know go to the room you know dry off and then come back to give me the towel because you know we can't both step out with the towel impossible so um I heard him but I was like in my mind I was like oh my god did I almost just have sex like so I walked out and I left him in the bathroom and I was in the room chilling in the towel air drying and I'm just waiting for him to come in but I'm real I didn't realize that like, he was waiting for me to give him the towel so he runs into the room holding his junk and he's like yo you about to leave me in the shower da, da, da. so I was like my fault so then um I'm laying there and then he, you know he gets on top of me and we're just like back to the regular programming that was in the shower and we were just like harassing and whatnot and then it's time for another try girl and guys when I tell you it was just not it was not fitting so then I was just like damn I guess not finna happen I guess I'm finna be a virgin for the rest of my damn life so then I don't know one last push it was just there I wanted to punch this nigga dead in his shit I was just like it hurt so bad y'all okay so it was quick it was like four to five minutes i kid you not but those four to five minutes yo it felt like like somebody lit fire in my hoo-ha it felt like somebody lit my tum tum on fire like i felt like it was the worst pain of my whole life and then it was over and then i looked at him and his face was like drenched like his whole body was just drenched like I didn't never seen nobody get that drenched that quick and it wasn't cuz he got out the shower cuz when he got, had got out the shower he done wiped off himself he done dried up and everything there was nothing there my mama Oof, my mama <laughs> um but yeah after that like he got up and then he went and he took the condom off and then he looked at me almost like in disbelief and he was like you're bleeding so then I'm looking at him like like no shit nigga like obviously then I realized this nigga really didn't believe that I was really a virgin like do you know how this works like I mean not everybody bleeds but I'm telling you I ain't did nothing ever before nothing nothing and I think that's when he finally understood that um 
So then, after that, I got up because I felt a little uncomfortable and I went into the shower, which is why I wish it happened in the shower. Um, washed up a bit, came back in. I didn't have no underwears, like I said, so he gave me his boxes. I thought it was cute. Um, they was clean. Before y'all get on my back, they was clean. And after that, I laid down for a little bit and then he was like, covering me and like just staring at my back because I could feel him staring at my back and just rubbing my back and just being like very like sweet and whatnot and I thought it was like I thought it was cute I ain't gonna hold you um and then after that we just went back to like how we normally was like it never happened like he made me feel comfortable so yeah that happened i went back to my room because i had had um a hair appointment i was doing my sister's hair and i told her i was gonna come at a specific time he didn't want me to leave but i had to leave baby i had to go i had to go make that shmanny so i went and i went and i did her hair um i had texted my best friend and i let her know she was at work i let her know what had happened and then i told her i would give her details when she got out of work and then he came to my room to check on me later on that day i thought that was really sweet um and yeah that was it it was a quickie um but yeah so that was a story time about the time that i lost my virginity um no we did not make it But that's a whole other story um so like comment and subscribe let me know like if you liked it if you would like to hear more story times for me because i got plenty of story times girl um and yeah